Schizophrenic's Guide to the... This is your guide to the T-800 Model 101 Terminator. Initiating sequence. Specification. The Terminator, Cyberdyne Systems Series 800 Model 101, belongs to a series of machines mass-produced by the military supercomputer Skynet for combat and infiltration-based assassination missions. Its primary purpose, however, was infiltrating and exterminating the human resistance. Despite being an android, the T-800 is a cybernetic organism and consists of living tissue over a robotic hyperalloy endoskeleton. Furthermore, it was the first in a line of Series 8XX Terminators in various timelines which included the T-850 and the T-888 androids. Physical appearance. The codes T-800 and Model 101 represent different aspects of the same Terminator. The series number 800 refers to the robotic hyperalloy endoskeleton, which is based on the human skeleton. However, the model number 101 refers to the living tissue and skin, which gives it its outwardly human appearance. The Endoskeleton The Endoskeleton is a triple-armoured hyperalloy combat chassis which is constructed with frictionless bearings in its joint and possesses a servo-actuated control system. The entire unit operates via a microprocessor. Its limbs are controlled by axle drive motors and clavicular trailing links allowing the T-800 to run at speeds of up to 22 miles per hour for short bursts. The endoskeleton is actuated by a powerful network of hydraulic servo mechanisms making terminators superhumanly strong. The armoured frame is capable of withstanding attacks from grenades and small caliber weapons. The Model 101 Physical Template The Cyberdyne Systems Model 101 is a model mould for the T-800 metal endoskeleton. The flesh coverings are grown identically, producing many multiple copies of exactly the same physical appearance by using a specific physical template. The Model 101's physical and vocal templates were developed using government files that predated 2001. As a result, Skynet searched this extensive database intensely before selecting the files on former sector agent Dieter von Rosbach, whose body type was the closest physical match to contain the massive Terminator endoskeleton. In an alternate timeline, however, Judgment Day's delay in Terminator 2 resulted in mankind's early development of concepts that Skynet would have taken longer to develop with its own initiative. Therefore, within this timeline, the living skin tissue of the Model 101 is based upon US Air Force Chief Master Sergeant William Candy from 2004. Candy volunteered his likeness to future military robotics where cyber research systems laser scanned his head and stored his three-dimensional facial representation on their database. As a result, Skynet subsequently used this stored information on their T-800 Terminators. Masquerading as human. The T-800 can successfully masquerade as human by copying the voices of others, read human handwriting, sweat, smell and bleed. However, they cannot express human emotions, only exhibiting stoic facial expressions. In addition to this, the T-800s only speak when they require information or divert attention from themselves. Later models of the Terminator, however, would show a greater capacity for emotion. In order to identify the Terminators, the human resistance would use dogs to alert them of their presence. Construction and functionality. The immobile T-800s are kept inside a large vault-like cold storage room, hanging on steel racks from tracks mounted in the ceilings. This cryogenic storage and the vacuum-sealed room prevents the T-800s' flesh from decay or necrotization, from exposure to warm, oxygenated air that may contain pathogens. Once activated, Terminators have a faint red glow in their eyes which will dim to nothing when it shuts down. These optical sensors can provide vision for a variety of visible frequencies including infrared which is shown on a 40,000 bits digitized display. 
For instance, the sensors can create a computer-generated off-angle ghost image to provide depth perception when tracking various targets travelling in different directions. In addition to this, the T-800 can zoom in on a target, magnifying the image 15-fold. The T-800's eyes are capable of moving autonomously and are protected by concussion-proof lenses. Furthermore, motion tracking, search modes, facial identification, recognition, vision enhancement, motion analysis, and night vision are provided by the optical sensors. The T-800 series also has highly sophisticated vocals, which allow it to replicate any human speech pattern that it has heard. This is achieved by recording and saving syllables of the subject's voices, which it replays using digital synthesizers to mimic the speech patterns. Located on either side of the T-800's skull are auditory sensors which record the full unequalized range of external sounds on one side, whilst the other automatically filters signals to within a narrow range for a specific auditory signal. The T-800 possesses a circulatory system which is operated by a small pneumatic pump maintaining constant pressure. Their blood uses a synthetic oxygen carrier and a system of nanobots to sustain the skin. Although the pneumatic pump allows the T-800 to bleed, they never bleed profusely, even from massive wounds and lacerations, and can continue to function when the skin is completely removed. Given time, however, the T-800 can regrow its partially damaged tissue covering. The flesh covering used on the T-800s is real living tissue, therefore warm to the touch, which allows them to pass thermal scanners undetected. The T-800 possesses a small compact nuclear power cell located in the chest area which is encased within a hardened sub-assembly inside the triple armoured hyperalloy torso. The cell has a functional period of around 120 years under normal circumstances. However, a sizeable impact directly striking the power cell would disable the unit. The T-800 can switch to economy mode to prolong its life almost indefinitely. When in this mode, excess energy will be collected and stored within the compact energy sinks. Ultimately, power is reduced to 40% of nominal function. Optical systems are switched to infrared, and motivation units lose 40% hydraulic pressure as the pumps slow down. Finally, despite not being composed of metic polyalloy, the T-800 can interface and control liquid metal to an extent. This mimetic polyalloy can be used to restore damaged units to full operational capacity, replace parts, and form stabbing weapons. CPU and Intelligence The T-800 CPU is an artificial neural network processor contained within the endoskull and is protected by inertial shock dampers. This internal CPU gives the Terminator the ability to learn and adapt. If the preset is switched from read-only to learning ability activated, the T-800 will become more curious and begin to decipher and imitate human behaviour. As part of its vast internal databases, the T-800 contains detailed files on human anatomy and physiology, so as to make it a more efficient killer. The CPU could also be updated with multiple database files related to advanced infiltration techniques, basic training for soldiers, emergency medical training, sniper training, an extensive tactical database, and detailed files from other Terminators, making each unit a combat veteran. Because of its ability to learn, the T-800 is capable of occasionally defeating more advanced Terminators, such as the T-1000. However, any particular advantage would be countered if Skynet were to set these units to learn as well. It appears as though some units, which have had their CPU set to read-write mode and have been in the battlefield for long periods of time, have taken a new level of understanding wherein they choose to fight for humans rather than against them. These units are known as rogue T-800s, whose primary concern is self-preservation. Skynet sees these units as threats and has ordered that all other models terminate them on site. However, these units have developed a large database of infield improvisation, improving upon their combat ability and self-repair function. It is not uncommon for a rogue T-800 to improve its physical design by replacing or improving components of itself from other disabled units. These non-standard modifications can include crude armour plating, additional CPUs, multiple limbs, serrated talons, 
and internal multiphasic weaponry powered by its internal fuel cell. Using its CPU, the T-800 is capable of running internal system checks, calculating the distance of objects relative to itself, targeting with a precision head-up display, making detailed kinetic studies of trajectories, sampling and analysing the atmosphere, weather patterns and wind velocity, analysing human emotional states, analysing body language and direction of muscle contraction, calculating the force of gravity, analysing texture and temperature of materials, and sensing radar scans. It is fitted with an internal chronometer. If disabled, the T-800 is able to reroute its systems to a secondary alternate power source, thus bypassing any severed connections, damaged circuits, or internal impairment. The T-800 series also has redundant backup hydraulic systems, therefore it is imperative that resistance members ensure that any T-800s are completely terminated in combat, otherwise they can revive themselves and continue in battle. Strengths. The T-800's titanium alloy construction makes it physically stronger than its T-600 predecessor, which it can tear in half. The T-800 is considered an extremely brutal and merciless assassin that will stop at nothing in order to achieve its mission objectives. Durability and weaknesses. Despite being highly durable and resilient machines, the T-800s were not invulnerable. For instance, a T-800 can be susceptible to plasma weapons, intense explosions, high-caliber rounds from browning machine guns, depleted uranium armor-piercing bullets, electronic attacks, pipe bombs, and razor-sharp edges if wielded with enough force. One particular T-800 was even crushed in a hydraulic press. Although the T-800 endoskeleton has a high resistance to molten steel and corrosive agents like concentrated hydrochloric acid, it can ultimately be destroyed if exposed to these aforementioned substances for sustained periods. The T-800s do not possess nerve endings or feel any pain, however can sense injuries through impact sensors. There are several impact sensors that record vibrations in the armour shell and locate where the trauma in the T-800's living tissue is. The T-800 can withstand gunshot bursts to the cranium, however remains vulnerable to most plasma weaponry and the 50 BMG sniper rifle bullets, which can disable them by penetrating their armoured chassis. Terminator flesh heals at a significantly faster rate than normal human tissue and does not show signs of bruising. However, the flesh covering can die if subjected to significant damage and not maintained thereafter. At this point, the flesh develops a corpse-like pallor and begins to decompose. The flesh can, however, be regrown by the T-800 with enough time. Weapons and Equipment The T-800 is most commonly issued with the Westinghouse M27 phased plasma battle rifle in the 40 watt range or General Dynamics RBS 80 phased plasma pulse gun. In addition to this, it is also programmed to use all military weapons to an expert standard. The T-800 is particularly efficient in using the 45 long slide automatic, the Uzi 9mm, the model 1887 Winchester lever action shotgun, the Franchi SPAS 12 shotgun, the M79 grenade launcher, the Heckler & Co MP5s, and the minigun amongst a variety of others. Evolution and upgrades. The T-800 is an improved version of the T-600 and T-700 predecessors. The T-600 unit was much bulkier with prosthetic rubber skin, and the 700 had the same endoskeleton as the 800, but without the skin. As a result, the two previous models were easily detectable. The T-800 was also the first Terminator to be built using coltan and titanium alloy, making the endoskeleton 40% stronger and 20% lighter than the earlier T-600. Due to the fact that titanium loses strength when heated above 430 degrees Celsius, Skynet began using coltan, which had better heat resistance. Finally, Skynet can add a variety of upgrades to the T-800 for various situations and purposes. Significant moments. The Cyberdyne Systems Model 101 Series 800 Terminator was sent back in time by Skynet to Los Angeles in 1984 to kill the future human resistance leader John Connor's mother, Sarah Connor. It was the first infiltrator sent back on an assassination mission by Skynet. However, despite killing Kyle Reese, it ultimately failed in its mission as it was crushed in a hydraulic press by Sarah Connor. 
Despite this, its arm and its damaged CPU had survived the hydraulic press and were recovered by Cyberdyne Systems. Cybernetic scientist Dr. Miles Bennett Dyson began creating a new neural net processor from these remaining parts. Ultimately, Dyson was able to construct a more advanced form of artificial intelligence and simultaneously accelerated the rise of Skynet, introducing another alternate future revolving around the predestination paradox. The Terminator arm and CPU were eventually stolen and destroyed by John Connor, his mother Sarah, and another T-800 which had been reprogrammed by the Resistance. This was your guide to the T-800 Model 101 Terminator M-Sequence. <laughs>